Hello you guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I have something so special for you guys. I have a DIY on this crystal chain and this crystal bra. It was so simple, it was so easy. Um, It didn't cost a lot at all, it was really affordable and it just looks so, 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 so gorgeous. And you can look so fabulous on a budget. And I really just like it a lot. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me, I am not a crafty person. And I did this in about 45 to an hour. But I'll give you guys some tips at the end that maybe will reduce that time. To start, I have two different sizes of rhinestone. This one is a 1.8 yard and it's 1.6 meters. And the smaller one is 1.2 yards and it's a 1 meter rhinestone. And then... It came with clips, the larger one did, so that's perfect. And I have my lobster clamps, and I also have my split rings. And then all you need is scissors, and that is it. So with the larger rhinestones, I measured it around my waist, or right under my bra, where I wanted it to be. And then I cut it. And then with that same larger rhinestone, which is the 1.8 yard to 1.6 meters, I wanted that to be the one that's mostly shown as going to be around my cleavage. So I measured that to where I thought it was going to stop, and then I cut that as well. I did the same thing on the other side. I used the larger rhinestones, measured it to where I thought it would be, and then I cut it. So I'm measuring out how tight I want my choker. I'm using the larger rhinestones once again. And keep in mind when you put on the lobster claw and the split ring, it may loosen up a tad bit, so just use the smallest split ring you have. So now I'm going to put on the rhinestone that I've already measured out. And with the smaller rhinestone, I'm going to make the other bra strap thingy. So I measure it out to where I want it to be. Same thing for the other side. And that's it. It's all the parts. I just laid it out to see how it would look. And it looks pretty good to me. So the larger rhinestones came with brackets, which was really, really helpful. So I put the rhinestone inside the bracket and I closed it with the scissors, which I wind up using my teeth anyways because as you can see, I was kind of having a hard time trying to clamp it down with the scissors. So this is the body chain part that I'm working on right now. And I did that for both sides of the part that goes below your bra. So there you go. Pretty sturdy. So I have my bracket on and I'm going to use the split ring, which next time I would definitely use the smaller one because like I said, my um, the one that goes around my waist or below my bra was kind of loose, but it's fine. I put the lobster claw on and I close the split ring. I use scissors once again, but it's kind of time consuming trying to use scissors. I just end up using my teeth, I, b I believe. So there you go. I have the other side already with the brackets or clamps and I put a split ring as well on that side. So you gotta be a little patient as you can see. <laughs> Closed it. I think I used scissors again. I just wind up using my teeth, I think, after a while because I didn't want it to accidentally like fall off.
So I tried it on. Once again, I would definitely use a smaller split ring next time. But it looks pretty good to me. And that is it for that part. So you basically do the same thing around all the sections. And where I ran out of the brackets, I used the wire, which is really good. And I just attached it. tips and tricks that um, can help you along the way if you make this crystal bra. So number one, um, keep in mind with the split rings what size you use. In my package I had small, medium, and I had large. Um, for example, if you want your the one that goes around your waist to be really, really tight, like you measure it out to be, um, use the smallest split ring you can. I use the larger one so it's a little loose, but you can always go back in and fix anything. So keep that in mind. Number two, this is really durable and it's really strong, but if you pull on it too much, it will break. I've done that and I was like, oh my goodness, this is like the end of the world. But all I did was use the wire and I attached the two um, rhinestones together and it worked perfect. Number three, keep in mind when you're measuring it out, it may not be perfect. So just keep that in mind. You may have to go back in and do it over again, but that's totally fine. And that is it. All my tips and tricks. So hopefully you guys do it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. And let me know if you try it out. Thank you and see you guys later.